find x. There you is. What do I have? I have a big triangle, this triangle glued to that triangle. Uh, all right, I have nine root six and x is way over here. So x isn't attached to nine root six really in any way whatsoever. What do I know? X is attached to a triangle that has a 90 degree angle and a 60 degree angle, which means you're a 30 degree angle. Oh, I'm probably gonna end up using the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So let's draw that out, 30, 60, 90. The 30, 60, 90 triangle says that if I have a triangle with a 90 degree, a 30 degree, and a 60 degree, whatever the smallest leg is, I'll call you A, the hypotenuse is going to be exactly two times that smallest leg. The other leg is going to be the square root of three times the smallest leg. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably gonna end up using those facts for this guy, but I can't even begin this guy until I figure out what I have over here. My nine times the square root of six is attached to this leg of this right triangle that has an angle of oh, 60 degrees. So that means you're 30 degrees as well. So this is the, uh, the longer side of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So what I have to do is work backwards a little bit. I have to work backwards to find this guy right here. I'll call you A. A in my case here represents the smaller leg of this right triangle. Now, if I were to find the bigger leg of a right triangle, that's 30, 60, 90, I multiply by root three. So if I wanted to work in reverse and say, let's now go from the big leg to the small leg, that means I have to take nine root six and divide by root three. So again, I called A, this leg right here, you are now nine root six divided by root three. Six over three is doable. So what I'll do is I'll just move the nine off to the side. There's a rule that says if you're dividing square roots, just make it one big square root and divide on the inside. So six over three inside the square root, six over three is two. So that length right there is nine root two. Nine root two. So I'm not going to be pleasant at all because now I have part of this guy right here. Now I'm looking at my smaller right triangle right here. Gross. Can't draw at all. So what I can do is let me, let me redraw it, make it a little bit bigger, make it a little bit more pleasant to look at. Your 90, your 60, your 30. You are now 9 root 2. I need to find you, I don't know you. So just like this guy, I'm given the larger leg. And in order to find the hypotenuse of a 30, 60, 90 triangle, I have to deal with the lar or the smaller leg. I have the larger leg. If I'm given the larger leg and I have to find the smaller leg, what do I do? Let's call it B just for funsies. B is going to be nine root two divided by root three, just like we did up here. There's a problem though. I could do six over three and make it go away. I can't do two over three in roots. So what I have to do is I have to rationalize the denominator, rationalize the fraction. I have to get rid of that square root of three because you're not allowed to have square roots of three in the denominator of a fraction. So the way you get rid of it is you multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of three. This is gonna make you happy. You'll see why in a moment, okay? B is going to equal nine times the square root of two times the square root of three, which is the square root of six. When you're multiplying square roots, you multiply within the roots and make it one bigger root. The square root of three times the square root of three is the square root of nine. The square root of nine is three. So B, is nine root six over three. Nine and three don't have square roots. So I can simplify three divided or nine divided by three and make it just three 
root six because nine over three is three. So this guy, my smaller side, my smaller leg is three root six. So if I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle and my job is to find the hypotenuse and I have this smaller leg, I'm finding X now, I take this smaller leg, three root six and multiply it by two. Two is outside the square root, so is three. So three times two is six. X equals six root six. No units, nothing like that. We use special right triangles in order to find missing parts of two right triangles glued together. Fun, 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 fun.